Mzee Chacha Mwita anajutia shoole ya kuchoma makaa anayosema imegeuza eneo hili kuwa jangwa. Hali ya misitu mbeleni ilikuwa misitu ipo hii ya miti ya kawaida kupandwa hii ilikuwa miti ya kawaida hii. Hii artificial ilikuwepo lakini hii ya kupandwa hii kuweko lakini sasa hizi imekatokato anakato anachoma makaa ati wanapata hiyo ndio capital yao kuchoma makaa wanatumia imeanza kupungua tena na tuletea inji na ka, da, kama desert sasa much of nyatike has been dry especially from the area where i'm born down to the lake but even with that dryness we used to have serious trees like there is a place around Agenga called Sagama. It used to be called Sagama. This place and Obuare area used to have big, big acacia trees. And it used to have a tall grass. Bada kuona kuwa misitu ilikuwa ikiangamia, chacha alijitolea kunusuru hali. Nilianza yu muradi ya kupanda miti mwake rufumbiri na kumina tatu. Mbaka asa naendelea nae, na wakati tulipopata nini, jukumu kuwa mama ya county hii, mama repu ya county, ana musaada wa miti wa kupanda. Na tuletea miti, tukaanza kupanda, ita nili muende hapo, waka tuletea miti, waka tumia, tukaanza kupanda hapa. Ndiyo tumeanza, tumepanda miti, nilianza na miti kupanda kama miti miatano hivi. Lakini sasa ni mepande mefika miti ya ilfu salasini hivi. Na naendelea kupanda tu. Na natarajia ni panda hati ifika ilfu salasini, ilfu hamusini, kuenda juu. Hili itanisaidia mbeleni. I encourage these people to make three seedlings. And then, I buy these trees from them, and then encourage them to plant them in their father's or the lands, people's lands, whoever is willing that we use their land to plant these trees. So the group I'm working with calls itself Mictesia. It is a group of Migori County University and college students. Kwa ushirikiano na serikali ya county, jamii imeombwa kutenga ardhi ya jamii itakayotumiwa katika upanzi wa miti. Yes, as an individual, we have tried to plant trees but they are not doing well, they are not growing. That is owing to the fact that the topsoil has been washed away and we currently also suffer from inconsistent rains because we don't have the trees. Na naona changamoto ya ile tunaye hapa kuna wengine wanataka namna ya kupanda miti lakini wanapata wanasindo na capital ya kupata hiyo miti ya kupanda lakini na wasindo wanatafuta na kuwasakana sasa nilikuwa na, na kuna wengine tena tunapanda miti inafikia umri fulani na kauka yamo ina, ina, ina madudi na ingiria na katakate na kula na kauka sasa nilikuwa naombelea na sana naomba kama Migori County kama hiyo mama mama wetu anadai tufanyie msaada tupate hiyo miti kwa kupanda tupata hata capital ya kupata hiyo miti na hata njia ya kupata hiyo seedling na kupata madawa ya kupigiria ya kunyenyezia hiyo miti sasa jangamoto ndio tulikuwa naye ni hii miti tu kupata mbegu za miti ama kupata nini madawa ya kunyenyezia miti i have ventured into this campaign of let's make migori county green again because the truth is it was once upon a time very green all over the place but now, much of it, we have a desert with scanty trees and a lot of soil erosion, like uh, the areas of Nyatike and everywhere, even in Rongo, Uriri. Visit areas near the rivers and waterways. You will witness the kind of soil erosion that uh, is unequal. And so, even in Kuria land, the other day I was in Kuria East, you can see that soil moving all of it to the lake. And it is a pity. Mitachacha kutoka hapa katika boma la mzee Joannes Miruka japo umri umebisha hodi mifupa yake dhaifu bado ina nguvu ya kuhimili jua kali. Sasa tuliona kama miti ni kama ni kama kitu muhimu sana hata serikali kuna sema watu wapande miti.
Miaka mitatu iliyopita alikuwa na miche 300 kwa kuanza na sasa bustani yake ina miche zaidi ya 1050. Hii kazi nilianza mwaka 2015. Alafu tumeanza kufanya nasari vizuri. Wengine walikuja na wengine wanakuja na nunua tunaendelea na kupanda nasari. Hasa tumeona kama kazi hii ni kazi nzuri tukaendelea kabisa na wafanya kazi. Hasa hivyo sasa hofu ndio kuna ya kupata tupande nyingi. Familia yake imekuwa nguzo yake katika kurejesha sura iliyo na wiri ya migori. Yaani hii kazi tunapanda mara mara nyingi kwa mwaka. Yaani kwa mwezi ine ine kila mwezi tayari kila mwezi tayari lakini naenda kwa polepole tu yani hakuna serikali inakuja inachukua ya kuchukua sisi wanyeji ndio wanakuja inachukua kidogo kidogo lakini ni mzuri na tunaendelea na vizuri kila asubuhi wanazuru bustani hii kushughulikia miche eh dawa hakuna sijapata dawa vizuri ya kumwaga kwa nini kwa miti ndio iko sira na tunalia serikali pia fote sisi tukufi sisi nguvu na kuchukua miti na kwenda kupanda yani sijaona hata serikali moja inakuja hapa inachukua miti na katika kueneza harakati hizi mzee Miruka anasambaza miche kwa wakulima kwa bei nafuu ya shilingi tatu kwa mti. Ndoto yake ikiwa ni kuona miti milioni 30 ikipandwa kabla ya mwaka 2030. Hizi miti wanachukua wale ni wale wenyeji tu ndio wanakuja na chukua. Wengine wanachukua 1000, moja, wengine wanachukua 2000, wengine wanachukua 500 hivyo hivyo tu. Serikali ya Kenya inashinikiza kupunguzwa kwa gesi chafu kwa asilimia hamsini kutoka kwa sekta ya misitu ifikapo mwaka 2030 kama sehemu ya mchango wake wa kitaifa NDC kwa mabadiliko ya hali ya hewa na kuafikia kupunguzwa kwa uharibifu wa mazingira ifikapo mwaka 2030 kama ahadi ya mkutano wa umoja wa mataifa wa kupambana na jangwa As a resident of this area we have con confronted our leaders even though uh, we have seen some positive reaction from the woman rep Dr Pamela even though they are not enough he has supplied some priests uh, which of course has been done in part of the area but it is not enough Pia kuna ongezeko la wasiwasi wa umma katika kushughulikia ukataji miti unaoendelea uharibifu wa misitu na hitaji la ulinzi ulioimarishwa uhifadhi na usimamizi endelevu wa rasilimali za misitu In this part of the country specifically in our village the main source of fuel is firewood but at times uh, some of the homesteads also use uh, charcoal so we can attribute the impact we are feeling now to massive uh, cutting down of trees to get the fuel for the family yeah not just fuel Uh, cooking fuel but also in our village here there is a cropping business uh, activity that is there today that is uh, brick layering it has also eaten into our forest our uh, tree our vegetation the people that are doing that activity are cutting down the trees to aid in the burning of the bricks miti zilikuepo lakini hizo mwiti kwa sababu ukija hapa sijui mtu anataka hii ni mtu wangu sijui saa zingine wanaikata wanaifanyia saa zingine wanaijenga nao lakini hawapandi hata hmm? mvua yenyewe saa zingine inakosa kuonyesha kwa sababu ya miti sasa tusaidie na mti kama tunaweza kupanda hii udongo iweze kuwa vizuri Wanaharakati wengi wana sababu ya kuwa na matumaini kutokana na harakati ya kupigania uhifadhi wa mazingira na misitu ili kurejesha kiwango cha misitu kilichopotea. Aya ni kwa kuzingatia malengo yaliyowekwa katika mkataba wa Paris au Faransa mnamo mwaka 2015. Yeah, I would like to advise the residents of Migori County to avoid cutting of trees and also to look for other alternatives of uh, well like gas uh, lpg gas or uh, the we call it the green fuel and also like to ask our leaders to help in the sensitization and also in programs like tree planting so that we can restore 
the glory of Migori County. Since in the logo we are told it is a green county, so we need to have more trees planted as a county. Another thing that I will ask the government is to work on the higher grounds to bring us seedlings so that we can plant them where we as a community can allocate land for that and uh, that I think will help in the controlling of the soil erosion that we are facing currently. Rais wa Kenya Uhuru Kenyatta ametoa wito wa dharura kuhusu upanzi wa miti kitaifa kama mkakati wa kurudisha kiwango cha misitu ya Kenya na kuhamisha wale ambao wameweka makao katika misitu. Mtusaidie ili hata sisi tupande miti tunatake, tuna, tunataka hata miti ya kujenga aweze kupata hapa. Can only ask the government to help us in uh, helping the deforestation so that we can uh, prevent the, the washing away of the topsoil.